Hi, it's Nelson, Southern Light LED. Next, we're going to show you on our Nash. Watch out! Watch out! Sorry about that. Next, we're going to show you our backup light for our Easy Track trailer. This is going to be a kit. Um, kit we offer. It's going to include your plug. We're going to show you step by step how to wire this in. That way. Um, all these modern trucks already have the seven pin connectors. You're going to be able to put your vehicle in reverse and now your trailer is going to have backup lights. Not only backup lights, it's going to have bright backup lights. Um, we're going to use our rooster tail design lights that we use and we're going to show you how to mount them on your trailer. This is going to work for any boat trailer. Um, you can mount these show you how to wire it real real simple also we're going to be installing our trailer underglow kit um, we have two different sizes one's for 19 20 foot plus trailers and then anything 19 foot and under we have two different kits basically one has one light one has two light or the larger trailers use two lights but this kit is going to illuminate everything under your trailer. You'll be able to walk around your trailer, see everything. Um, everything from the transom or this back bar forward. So we're going to walk you through step by step, show you exactly how we install all of this so you can do it on your rig. Um, this is a 2018 Easy Track trailer, just so you kind of have a reference of what we're dealing with. This is on our edge gator tail duck boat build. Um, this will probably be one of our final steps to this build. But we're going to be installing these uh, backup lights right here. Um, on this particular trailer there's two um, 3M stuck on reflectors. Um, I like that location where that reflector is for my backup light. So I'm going to end up popping that thing off. And we're going to get these mounted and show you step by step. Okay, on this Easy Track trailer, we've got our backup lights we're going to install. I'm going to put them right here. The reason I made this decision is if I mount this light over in this location, a lot of this light will be blocked from this side rail. So, mounting here, all this is going to block a lot of the light. So, mounting right here. It has complete side illumination and then it's going to light up everything here. Also on this side, we're going to do it in the same location. That way we have good full unobstructed vision on these. So what we're going to do, we're going to mount it right here. We've got our center marked in between here and I'm going to mount them up kind of flush with the top. First thing you need to mark this uh, most important is where your wire is going to go through. Um, we do have brackets we could provide if you rather not you can mount it up here or down below. Um, that's going to be a, a, that, a that's an option too. Um, but I want mine to kind of be flush and look like they're installed in the trailer so all we have to do is drill a hole for this wire to feed through and we're going to feed it over this is already hollow tube because the wires naturally run through the trailer on this back one um, so we're going to drill this make sure you drill it plenty big um, people that have problems drilling these through something they try to drill it as small as they can and then when they go to screw it it uh, cuts the wire or gets pinched so Drill it plenty big where you got room, find your center and screw it down. We're going to drill that real quick. Come out the side over there. If you have the bracket system or if you didn't want to drill this hole in there, um, we have the washers provided that will hold this off. You can do your wire up the top and zip tie it or hose clamp it, whatever you want, up the top. Um, we're just trying to do this a little cleaner and neater, more factory looking, so 
we're going to run this in and it's going to come out the side over there. Okay, next we're going to install the backup lights on the trailer. We got our hole drilled, got our wire ran over to our side, and we're just going to go ahead and drill these in. Now, this aluminum runner on this easy track was extremely thick, so I just pre drilled our holes for the self drilling screws we provide just to make sure they're. They go in real easy. Alright, we got that in. Now we'll go take our second self drilling, put it in the hole. Right there. pretty good. Don't want to over tighten it. You might compromise the integrity of the aluminum cast these backup lights are made out of. So you just kind of want to get it snug um, and without bending or compromising this that might compromise the seal. And we're going to put the other one on and then we'll show you how we wire these and we'll be good to go. Alright, we're going to screw down our second backup light. our two wires coming off our backup lights. These are the backup light kit wires. You're going to have two wires coming off of each of your lights. We ran them from the center of our trailer, mounted our two lights, ran them to this side member where our tail light is. This side member channel runs all the way to the front to where we're going to connect it to our vehicle. So we have our two wires coming from our lights. We have our wire that we provide that's over 30 foot that's going to get you all the way to the front of your trailer to where you can hook up your backup lights where they'll come on with your vehicle reverse lights and we're going to use the silicon connectors we provide these connectors are real easy they have a silicon extrusion extrusion in them and we're going to attach the three wires in there and as you can see all three wires are in the extrusion then we're going to take our pliers and push down the cap and make sure your cap is fully seated all the way around make sure that red cap snaps in all the way and then the silicons will squirt out the bottom. Now you have a waterproof connection on your trailer for your backup lights. We're going to take the ground, all three wires, two grounds from the lights, one ground going up to the vehicle connection. And we're going to smush it down and make sure that cap is fully seated all the way down. Because if it's not, it will not make the proper connection and won't seal correctly. So, once that's snapped all the way down, we're good to move on. Double check, we're all the way down. Now we're going to take this wire. We went ahead and ran a fish tape from the front to the rear. Just kind of makes it quicker and easier if it's available. You can run a real, real stiff wire if you want. But we're going to tape this on here, and then we're going to pull it all the way to the front. And then we're going to show you how we hook that to our connector to where it will plug into our vehicle and come on as desired. So we're going to run this wire all the way to the front. These are connected. Our backup lights are all connected. We're done here. And we'll show you how that's done on the front. Okay, we got our wire coming in from our backup lights or reverse lights. What we're going to do is, this is the factory trailer harness. We're going to cut this tape off this wire loom where we can access the inside of this wire loom. 
and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our additional wire that we added from our backup lights and we're going to put it inside the wire loom also. Get that seated all the way in there like so. Pushing that new wire in here and then we'll tape it and zip tie it back up so it doesn't fall back out over time. Also this is a good time to your vehicle um, was hard for your wires to reach your plug on your vehicle. This is a good time to extend them because we're going to cut this plug off and you could extend all your wires and you would be set up perfect from then on. So. We now have our wire ran in our wire loom. In this kit, we're going to have a wire coming out now. Um, like I showed you before, we have our white as our ground. The two browns are together in the same prong. That's going to be our running lights. That's our wire we tied into. And then you have these two here and here that are your blinkers. So that's the two right here. These two right here are the ones you want. It's your blinker, blinker, and ground. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off right here because we no longer need this plug. And she's cut off now. So now we have our colors here. These are pretty typical. You've got your yellow, your green, your brown, and your brown. So our two browns are hot for our running lights, green and yellow are our blinkers, and white is our ground. And then in addition we have now backup lights. So we're going to strip this right here. like that and that's our backup lights now okay now what we're going to do is take our connector right here what you do that this is provided in your backup light kit it's got a little bitty set screw here you loosen it and once it's loosened you will take a screwdriver and pop this out once that's popped out that's our seven pin connector that's got all our copper connections that we need so we're going to take all these wires in this wire loom and we're going to run it through the back side of this connector just like so and as you can see wire loom fits quite nice and snug there is a clamp here you can loosen I'm going to loosen this a little bit <clears throat> so those wires can slide in and that way once we get it all connected, it'll be nice and neat and look factory. So, what we're going to do, this connector, and they're all numbered, and each one tells you, and we give you a diagram of how to set this up. But basically what we're going to do is connect all these wires to here, slide this back together. Then when we plug it in, everything will work just the same with the addition of we will now have backup lights when we put our vehicle in reverse. This will activate our backup lights and we'll be good to go. Okay, so we got all our wires connected. We're going to slide this back in here. There's only one way it can go. Just like that. We'll tighten down our set screw. 
keep it from coming apart. Just like that. And then finally, we're going to tighten down the clamp to hold your wire loom that's providing. That's going to clamp on that. That way when somebody goes to rip on, pull this out with the wire, you're not pulling on your connections. So that's it. We're all connected. We're going to take this all back up nice and neat. But now we have converted this to having backup lights, tail lights, um, even added underglow while we were doing this. Um, check out our trailer underglow kit. But this is ready to plug in and um, once again, all this, everything needed for this whole kit, wiring plug, everything to get your boat, uh, trailer, your RV, your camper, anything hooked up with a new seven point connector with backup lights. Um, every time you put your vehicle in reverse, this will be activated and you can see where you're back in now. Um, our backup lights are extremely bright so you'll have no problem um, seeing everything you need they're extremely waterproof and will work well